Hello Capricorn and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Capricorn. Alright Capricorn, let's see what is going on. Love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. Love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. We have home. You are where my heart lives. You are where my soul finds peace. You are my safety in a world of chaos. I feel like without you, their life is falling apart. That's what I want to say here. So let's get a little bit more detail and see what's going on. Few cards for you. Few cards for them. And then the outcome. This resonates. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate, please do check your moon your rising and your venus sign as this will not resonate with every capricorn out there cross watchers please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for capricorn what does capricorn need to know what is capricorn Okay. 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 So, um, they're definitely on the outside looking in here. You're going to have a lot to think about. You're afraid it's going to be another illusion from this person because I feel like when uh, the two of you were together right you were their stability you were their strength um, hey, this is you this is how they see you just you know this empress energy male or female um, you, you you were just everything they did not feel good enough And to be blunt, they weren't. Um, it's like you, uh, it's like you saved them. When shit fell apart, um, because they started, you know, uh, bringing toxic issues to the table, you try to heal this person and be successful at healing this person, but only they can save themselves. And I feel like you realize that and they brought a lot of confusion, emotional confusion. They brought a lot of, I, I mean, it feels like you've really been over backwards to help this person elevate, um, but only they can do that. I feel like they went in a different direction and got wrapped up with um, someone that they felt uh, more powerful over. They could not they could not um, be more powerful over you. So that's their ego talking, right? Well, things did not go well. And I feel like that was kind of expected. Like whoever they got in a relationship with, it did not go well. Because... <laughs> I feel like they got a little bit uh, hoodwinked. I feel like whoever they went with um, created an illusion for them, right? Um, and it everything's falling apart for this person. Their life is an absolute disaster. They probably pretend like they're fine. They are not fine. They're on the outside looking in at this point. We got the Five of Pentacles. And 
they they want to come back home to you. They want to come back to you. They want to be in a relationship with you. I don't know if you are going to allow that at this point, but they are going to attempt communication. Okay, five of pentacles here. So, you felt rejected and abandoned by this person because they moved towards someone new. But like I said, there was a lot of illusion based, a lot of clouded thinking. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe there was drinking or something else involved here. Um, they thought that they could be in, in, you know, feel in control, feel superior to whoever that they, they were going to be with. They can't do that with you. You are, you are that boss empress energy. They can't do that. There's going to be an outpouring of emotion. I feel like this person is going to be at one of the lowest points in their life and they're going to reach out to you. And they may be drinking. That's for some of you, not all of you. I feel like it's going to be more of a late night situation when they reach out. And you may not talk to them. And I feel like you're you're figuring out this is something that they've got to figure out on their own. You try to help elevate them. They they have to do it themselves. You may be moving on to someone else here as well, right? Someone new. So, yeah, you may be getting attention elsewhere while this person's life is falling apart. I want to say with this particular energy, they let their ego and other parts of their body lead the way. It didn't go well, right? Ace of Wands here. Uh, where they went, it did not go well. Look at all these aces here. So we got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. You may be stepping into a completely different reality, Capricorn. Um, a lot of new on the horizon for you. So I don't think this past person is going to be able to catch you. I just don't feel like you're going after wish fulfillment and I feel like you realize it's not with this past person so ace of cups ace of wands and ace of pentacles I I strongly feel like you're you you are very much aware of your power and you're not here to be someone's ATM someone's therapist someone's um secretary appointment setter um you're 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 over that you know i feel like you stepping into this power right here and understanding this power right here be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with a taurus you're all about the new beginnings that actually can go somewhere and i feel like with all these aces here it's you're stepping into a completely different reality and this person, their life is falling apart. But that is their own choices and their own karma that they're going to have to deal with. And I just don't feel, you may talk to this person, but it's not going to make a bit of difference. Because you're on to new beginnings that can actually grow and blossom. And it took you a while to get there. We got this hermit card. You could be dealing with a Virgo. It took you a long time to figure this out and to heal and to step into that power. But I see you being very successful at moving on from this. And no matter if they come back, this past person comes back with their tail between their legs and their pride on the floor. It's not going to much matter because you're not in the business of fixing other people anymore. They have to figure it out themselves. But they are going to be come, coming around, strutting around, trying to get your attention. And I just feel like it's not going to go the way that they want it to go. So, I feel like you were very generous to this person, but things weren't very balanced. 
um, attempts at communication, whether you talk to this person or not. I see a lot of you talking to them, but when you, it's like when you do talk to them, you're going to see right through them. And you're afraid that they're just going to try to create another illusion. You've outgrown this individual. And they're so much new headed towards you. Um, so it's like you're on this, you're on a completely different timeline. It's like they're in the, they're operating in the 3D with like selfish, earthly shit. And you're on a whole nother level at this point. Right? So, Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. You are on a completely different timeline, the completely different path than this person that wants to come back home to you. So, a lot of illusion, a lot of confusion. I feel drinking. I keep getting drinking here. Um, be careful of this. I feel like it's going to be more of a late night. Uh, I need you. I need to talk to you. I miss you. All these things. And it's because where they went, where they thought was greener, where they thought that they had more control is falling apart. Their life is falling apart without you. And if you accept this person back into your space, your energy is going to be depleted and you will fall with them. Okay. So you're going after wish fulfillment, you're going after your dreams, and you're being very stubborn about it. And I feel like that's why all these aces are coming out for you. So you're just, you're operating on a whole other level than this person at this point. So they have to elevate. They got to figure it out on their own. We got the Seven of Cups, we've got the Four of Cups, and we got the Nine of Cups. You may speak to this person, but you're going to see right through them. So, wild little reading that this turned out to be. Love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. You've got so much new coming towards you. Um, if it isn't here already, um, it's love for you. It's a new reality for you. You're changing. The universe is behind you. It's love for you, Capricorn. But this past person, it's they're almost in a desperate place. You may talk to them, but your feelings are very different when it comes to them. And that just speaks to your spiritual, emotional advancement, really. You've outgrown them. So I feel like it's going to be a loss for them and they're going to have to figure out their life because it's it's like they're hitting rock bottom here without you. All right, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the um, socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week and I will talk to you soon. Take care and God bless.